Hello, Tab Nation. It's Tom, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different outside of auto hockey, but it still has to do with automation, which I know you guys love. So, we're going to be using Python today to automate uh, some basic stuff like movement, key presses, that kind of stuff. I know that's what a lot of people are using auto hockey with, and are curious to maybe reaching out into Python. If you don't know what Python is, definitely check the video in the description below that kind of gives you a brief history and introduction to Python. And then I'm going to be doing another video where I actually tell you how to like install different things and how to update all that kind of stuff. So that will be coming out soon. Hopefully you have that already done or can find it. Now normally I use a Notepad++ here, but I don't know. I don't like the you know built-in syntax highlighter that it has. I think VS Code looks a lot better with Python. I know I can go in and edit it and fix it all up myself, but I'm being lazy because it's easier just to launch VS Code. So we're going to be using VS Code today in case you're wondering what I'm using versus Notepad++, which you're probably very used to seeing me use. So before we even get started, we do need to download this. Uh, so it's called uh, Pi Auto GUI really cool i'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff with this there's so much you can do with this package it's really cool so just download the module if you don't know how to do that all you're doing is copy and pasting this and then we're going to run command prompt whatever you're using and you're just going to copy and paste that in there and push enter so i already have that installed i'm not going to do it it can sometimes take a little bit there'll be a bunch going on the screen showing you you know what it's doing and how it's downloading and it'll tell you when it's complete but it doesn't take that long so yeah just open command prompt copy and paste that in as you see i have that commented out which in python commenting it out you're probably used to auto hotkeys where we're really using a lot of semicolons here we're going to be using the pound sign hashtag whatever you want to call it it goes by a lot of different names so once we get that downloaded we're going to start with importing two things we want to import that pi auto gui thing that we just got and we want to import time now auto hockeys if you're watching this and you're used to that whenever you use the command in auto hockeys it pretty much just works right away so i want to put a sleep in auto hockeys or a lot of languages it just works but in python it can be a little bit strange if you're used to that you do need to import a lot of different things just to get it to work so you need to get those libraries or modules as i believe they're called because i'm going to be using sleeps as you see here so i need to import time so that it knows how to handle a sleep which to me is very bizarre. Um, I know a lot of people like it that way, but yeah. So the first thing, um, unfortunately I can't really, it's, it doesn't work very well with showing you this because it's hard to see the mouse movements on here. Like you can barely see where my mouse is on the screen or anything. So we're just gonna kind of explain the stuff and then you can use it how you want. So once we've imported both of those, we're good to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna call on to that Pi Auto GUI dot click so we're using the command click and we're going to click at the x y coordinates of 500 500 so you know obviously you're going to be clicking wherever you want just kind of move that around now if we want we can add a dura duration the uh, tongue tied there equals one so that's just one second so that's just saying it's going to take one second to make that click you obviously can change this to whatever you want. You can have it at zero if you want it to be an instant click, which most people are going to want. Because honestly, I'd rather just have this zero and then add sleeps. I, I think it shows step by step a little easier. But that's just my personal opinion to each his own. Now, let's say we want to uh, do a sleep. So we're going to do time. We're calling upon this imported time thing. And we're going to use the command sleep. And in parentheses here, we're just going to put five, which stands for five seconds. So everything's really done in seconds in here, which if you're watching this, you're used to milliseconds and auto hotkey, but we're doing seconds here, which I honestly kind of like a little better. Gives you a less, less flexibility, but it's still pretty nice. You can always play around with like points and stuff, but I don't know. So now we want to actually move our mouse versus up here where we were just automatically clicking in the spot. We actually want to move our mouse though. So we're going to once again call upon 
I auto GUI dot move to make sure that T is capitalized. I'm not sure actually if that matters, but I think that's how you're supposed to really do it. Let me know if you find out in the comments below. I haven't really tested that. I just always have capitalized that because that's how I've seen everybody else do it. Uh, and here we're just going to move to the coordinates XY 450, 450. Obviously, you're going to play around with that. And then we're going to do a duration of five seconds. And that's basically just going to be like five seconds it's going to take to go from point A to point B. But if I did one second, it'd be like... So that's how fast you want it to actually move. You can slow it down, but it's going to take five seconds to get from its current position to where you're telling it to move to. Uh, this one's basically doing the exact same thing as above, but we're going to be holding the left mouse button down. So we're doing pi auto GUI dot drag R E L real 100 to zero, take five seconds. And that's basically going to do this where it's going to move from A to B, but it's going to hold the mouse down at the same time. So that would probably be good for like highlighting or dragging and dropping stuff. I, I could see people doing. Oh, see, I'm used to Notepad++, open the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, this one's pretty simple. It's just scroll up, scroll down, using that Pi Auto GUI, and scroll, uh, negative 400 if you want to go that way, 400, positive number if you want to go that way. So yeah, just scrolling up and down. So that would probably be good for like websites, auto-zooming in games, what have you. And if you guys think of anything that you would be using this for, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious what you're going to be automating with Python. I imagine a lot of people are going to be doing web services and gaming, I think, is going to be the big one. So definitely let me know. I'm curious to see in what direction you guys are going with this. So yeah. Keyboard functions. This, I think, is going to be a very popular one. And these two, I think, will be the most popular because in auto hockey, most people are trying to simulate... Uh, key presses and typing and stuff. And this is how you're going to do that. So we're going to use, here we're just doing a click. So basically my idea here was I want to do a click first because maybe I'm trying to select a text field in an, you know a game or on a website. And then I'm going to do type right and then just in the single parentheses there, tab nation. So that's just going to type out tab nation wherever that just clicked at. Obviously, you might not need the click, but, uh, you know, there's different ways you can go about that. I'll just show them that as an example. And the last one is hotkeys. Everybody's favorite on this channel. So we're going to be doing dot hotkey here. And we're just going to do control left. So that's going to hold down the control left and press A. So control A is basically would highlight everything in like a text document. So like control all basically is what it's called. So yeah, this is a very small introduction to kind of automating your keyboard and mouse. We'll maybe do some more advanced stuff here if you guys are interested. Let me know what route you're trying to take with Python so I can kind of get a feel for what you guys like about it. And definitely let me know and I'll see what I can do. All right, guys, thank you for watching this very interesting intro to Python and I hope you guys use it. Bye.